The latest on the beat tickers with 1010 KSIR. Let's get to the starting lineup first for the visiting Sterling Tigers at 2 and 3. They'll have Kelly Graber along with Taylor Tonchi, Ellie Soper, Tayton Dempsey, and Mackenzie Beck. Meanwhile, the Bay Diggers starting lineup is brought to you by Buildings by Design. First impressions are important. Buildings by Design will make your vision a reality. Visit buildingsbydesign.com. They go with a guard and Sarah Becker, along with Karime Castillo, a junior. Jocelyn Middlemest, Michelle Headley, and Brisa Aguirre. Garcia, the B Diggers at one and three are under first year head coach, Matty Rule, and the Tigers under Kristen Hamill. Opening tip is brought to you by B&B Appliance with over 30 years of experience. B&B Appliance can help match the appliances to your needs. At 502 Ensign Street in Fort Morgan, that's B and B Appliance. The B Diggers are in their home whites, the Tigers in their road blacks. And Sterling has had Brush's number in recent years. They are coming off two consecutive losses to Lyman and Rangeley after beginning the season at two and one. Tate and Dempsey will jump center against Michelle Headley. Very light crowd out at the beat cellar. And the tip is controlled by Brush. Here is Karime Castillo on the outside right. Maintains the dribble, holds it up high. At the top now for Aguirre Garcia. Dribbling to her right, picks up the dribble, looking down low. Bounces inside to Headley. And then she puts it up and throw up an air ball on the right baseline. And it's taken away by Taylor Tanchi. The point guard dribbles on the outside right, guarded over there by Middlemist. Back out to Tanchi. On the right baseline, little 10-footer is an air ball. That was taken over there by Callie Graber. Michelle Headley grabs the basketball for Brush. Here's Castillo all the way, puts it up, and that's an air ball. And it's taken by Ellie Soper of Sterling. These teams have missed badly. Soper looking for a teammate. Is going to find Mackenzie Beck now back to Soper. We played nearly a minute. Neither team has hit the rim. Bounce pass down low, and the shot is up and partially blocked. The ball is loose in the floor out of bounds. Mackenzie Beck took the shot. And the basketball belongs to Sterling. And Soper to throw it in. Looking. Right corner to Tanchi. Tanchi looking down low, dribbling to her left. Maintains the dribble against Middlemist. Right of the baseline here is Dempsey turns, shoots, and throws up another air ball. Michelle Headley has the basketball for Brush. That's four air balls. Brisa Aguirre Garcia. There is a rim on this floor. Brisa in the lane. Looked like she traveled. She did as she tried to throw up a wild shot. It'll go over to the Sterling Tigers. And Ellie Soper. Yeah, I've never seen that. Four air balls to begin a game. Soper picked up by Castillo, swings it now in the left corner. Wide open three is up and in. That was Tanchi to Soper. And Soper hits the triple. And it's three to nothing. First points of the game on a perfect shot. So we haven't hit the rim yet. That hit nothing but string. Middle miss. Jump pass. Left wing Castillo. Little 10 footer. That's an air ball. And it's grabbed though by Sarah Becker. Strong side. Down low. Middle miss puts it up. Looked like she was fouled. No whistle. She gets it back off the miss. Puts it back up and scores. Off the back of the rim for Middlemist. B Diggers close to within two, within one, three to two, 5.58 to go with the opening quarter. Tanchi on the high right to Soper. Maintains the dribble against Middlemist. Now in the left corner, Tanchi looking down low for Graber. Ken Finer straight away to Soper. Bounce pass inside to Dempsey. Baseline shot is in. It rattles in for Tate and Dempsey, about a five footer. 5-2 to two, Sterling, 5.36 to go in the first quarter. Karime Castillo with the basketball at the top, picked up by Soper, looking to her right. It's going to find Sarah Becker, the corner for Headley. Headley back out to Castillo, bounces it to Aguirre Garcia, wide open, three is up and short, and a nice strong side rebound. Grabbed by Taylor Tanchi. 
Here's Tanchi with a dribble, nearly dribbled into Castillo. Behind the three-point line at the top now for Soper. She retreats towards the timeline. No fouls have been committed by either side. We played almost three minutes. Tanchi maintains possession now on the left side to Soper at the left corner. Here is Graber. Back out to Soper straight away to Tanchi. Takes a dribble, won't take that shot. Lobs it left baseline. Graber, 10-footer, yes. Wide open. Graber scores at 7-2. Sterling, 4.39 to go in the first. Karime Castillo at the top. Looking bounce pass on the outside left. Middlemas pulls up. 15-footer is around and no good. Rebound to Headley. Headley banks and misses, but a foul on Tayton. Check it. It's on Mackenzie Beck. Beck did a nice job of boxing out Headley, but never looked for the basketball. You have to do both. You just can't box out. Headley was the one who saw the basketball. Hadley to shoot two. First free throws by either side. Right-handed free throw by Headley is up and perfect. Sterling seven, brush three, nearly midway through the opening quarter. On a Tuesday night, a six o'clock start in brush. Boys play at seven on KPMX. That's off to the right lane violation. It goes over to Sterling. We've seen a lot of lane violations by the B-Diggers, both sides, and they've got to be disciplined. If you miss it, you still can't move until the ball hits the rim. Bag picks up the dribble, just beyond the timeline, has to get rid of it, and she does on the high right to Soper. Nice job of coming back for the basketball by Ellie Soper. Maintains the dribble. That is Ashland Storch into the game down low in the lane. Here's Beck. She puts it up and throws up an air ball from five feet away. And it's off Soper out of bounds. We have more air balls than made shots. And that is no joke. Bounce pass into Becker. Becker back to Brisa Garcia. Now near midcourt. Here's Michelle Headley. Overhead pass to Castillo on the high right. Well played game so far. One turnover straight away. Three is up and off to the left. Missed by Brisa. Becker tries to chase it down, but it's into the hands of Mackenzie Beck of Sterling. Quickly, here is Storch. Across the timeline. Back out to Graber. Now to Soper. Soper with a basketball. Left baseline to Graber. Back out to Soper. Parking lot three is off the back of the rim. Ball is rebounded by Dempsey. Put, puts it up and in. Off the glass for Tate and Dempsey. Sterling leads 9-3. to 3.23 to go in the first. Becker quickly into the front court. Swings it right side towards Headley. Dribbling right baseline. Lost control out of bounds. Second turnover for Brush. And the Tigers have possession of the basketball. Grace Peterson checks in. The Bay Diggers have yet to make a substitution. On the outside right, Soper back to Storch. On the high left, right wing to Soper. On the right baseline, Graber. Down low pass to Dempsey. Banks and scores over Headley. That is perfect basketball played by the Sterling Tigers. 11-3. to three. Under three minutes to go in the first. Aguirre Garcia, left-handed dribble at the free throw line. Has to swing it right side to Becker. Becker dribbles to her right. Feeds it corner to Headley. Holding the ball up high. Lobs it over to Brisa. And she throws up a 15-footer and misses. A little bit short. Rebound is controlled by Ashlyn Storch. With a right-handed dribble into the front court to Soper. Now in the left corner, Graber. Bounce pass inside, turnaround off the glass, and that's missed. But the rebound, the putback is up, and that's got glass, and then the putback is missed by Dempsey, but a foul. Two misses there by Grace Peterson, and Dempsey tried to score. But she was fouled by Middlemist. Tayton Dempsey's outscoring Brush by herself. Free throw by Dempsey is up, and that barely got to the rim. Cheyenne Garrett in for the first time. Karen McCracken for Sterling. Taylor Tanchi back in. Second free throw looks a lot better, but it's back rimmed. Lane violation anyway. Again, you got to wait. If the shot is off, you still got to wait. 
Brisa to throw it in. It goes as a missed free throw. With 2.24 to go, looking, bounce pass into Becker. She dribbles out of traffic. Beautiful dribble into the front court. Becker's got a two-on-one. Left to the lane. Now to Cheyenne Garrett. She shoots and put it up short from less than 10 feet away. The rebound is loose, and it was controlled momentarily by Sterling Castillo's got it. Now she's fouled. She's fouled over there by McCracken. B-Diggers to inbounds it. Only the second team foul by Sterling. The B-Diggers with one. And to throw it in is Castillo. Castillo bounce pass in the right corner off the hands of Brisa Aguirre Garcia out of bounds. Yeah, that was a risky pass and the B-Diggers turn it over. Sterling comes the other way with Taylor Tanchi. Swings it back out on the right side over to Storch. Now in the left corner with a basketball is McCracken back to Storch. Now to McCracken, left baseline, looking down low. Kicks it back out to Storch, right side, Tanchi. Lobs it right of the lane to Dempsey. Swings it in the right corner. Now back out to Tanchi. Back on the left side, here is Storch. Free throw line, 15-footer. Yes, inside the free throw line for Grace Peterson. And Sterling has now taken command, 13-3, with a minute 32 to go in the opening quarter. Bounce pass, front court to middle, missed on the high right. Middle miss guarded closely over there by McCracken. Back of the left wing, Becker wide open three and she hit it off the back of the rim. Nice rebound by Peterson. B-Diggers cannot make a shot. Here is McCracken, she's bodied up and foul by Brisa Aguirre Garcia along the right baseline. That'll be her first. With 76 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Taylor Tanchi to throw it in. On the outside right, dribbling right baseline is Storch. She misses the shot. Nice rebound by Berisa. Her first of the game. Long outlet to Castillo. Castillo dribbling right baseline. Cut off by Dempsey. Back out to Becker. She penetrates right baseline all the way. She keeps going left to the lane. In the lane to Berisa. She hooks it up and misses. And that's a rebound by McCracken. The B-Diggers have made one shot. They're shooting under 10% of the opening quarter. McCracken lobs it towards the top ball. Poked away by Castillo. First turnover by Sterling. Castillo ahead of the field. Lays it up and she missed it. Rebound put back. That's missed by middle missed. And then we've got a tie up. Man, the B-Diggers are just awful today. From the field in this first quarter. It's got to be about 1 out of 13. Those are two easy shots. Now it goes back to Sterling. Possession arrow pointing in their direction. I mean, this is their home floor. you got to shoot better than that. Here is Taylor Tanchi. Bounce pass on the outside left. This is McCracken. Left corner, Soper fakes the three. Now to McCracken. Looking, still looking. Rub the ball off her foot. She's on the floor. And we've got a foul. Castillo landed on McCracken. That's a good call. Only the second team foul. Soper to throw it in with less than 25 seconds to go in the opening quarter. And the B-Diggers trail 13 to 3. Check for your B-Diggers, number 3, Celeste Gonzalez. Celeste Gonzalez checks in for Brush. A freshman. There's the pass into Beck. Back out to Soper. Soper to her right, motioning the offense. On the outside right to Tanchi. Right corner, that's McCracken. Now to Tanchi, lobs it over to Beck. And then she threw it behind. Soper out of bounds. She was cutting to the basket. Second turnover for Sterling. B Digger should have the final shot here in the opening quarter. 11.9 seconds to go. There's the lob into middle miss. Baseball pass taken by Rebecca Boone. Nope, through her hands. Intercepted. Five seconds to go. Soper pulls up. Takes it right corner. Tanchi three. Yes. Oh, that's a beautiful assist there by Ellie Soper. And Tanchi nails the wide open triple. Eight minutes have expired. Sterling, 15, brush three on the Eastern Plains. Sports Network. 10-10 KSIR. 15 to three, Sterling. Let's head to the second quarter. Sarah Becker to throw it into Jocelyn Middle Mist out there with Celeste Gonzalez, Rebecca Boone, and Cheyenne Garrett. 15 to three, Sterling. The B-Diggers shot about 8% in the opening quarter. Boone, right corner, Garrett. 15-foot rainbow. That's short. And the rebound is grabbed by Dempsey. 
Dempsey's got a one-on-one. -on -one. She's got Becker in front of her. Nice play by Middlemas from behind, poking it out of bounds. Sterling, Sterling retains possession. And to throw it in is Ellie Soper. Soper looking for Dempsey. She got Tanchi out there. Lobs at free throw line. Graber, 15-footer, in and out. Rebound, Dempsey banks and scores. Nobody blocked her out. Dempsey's got eight points and four rebounds. Sterling up 17-3, to 30 seconds into the second. Castillo into the front court, had the ball off her leg, poked out of bounds. The B diggers with five turnovers. Sterling at two in the opening quarter. Michelle Headley back in. Now, we don't want this to go to a running clock, but the way it's going with Brush unable to score, we might get there by the third quarter. Soper in the right corner. Graber bounce pass. Dempsey turns, shoots, and misses. Nice rebound by Sarah Becker, and that's a silly foul by Tanchi. Well, actually, it was Mackenzie Beck. Either way, it's not a smart foul. Becker clearly had the basketball. And so Becker inbounds the basketball. Over to Castillo, cross court, front court pass to middle miss, dribbling on the outside left, back to Becker, jump pass to Shine Garrett, dribbles, banks, and scores. There you go, to the left of the basket. Threw it high off the glass, only the second field goal by the Bay Diggers in the game. But they're down 17 to five, Tanchi in the right corner. We have a whistle, and apparently Castillo's hurt. I don't know if she lost a contact or I, I think something happened there with a contact lens or she got hit and there's some blood there. So Castillo's going to have to be taken out of the game with the bee diggers trailing 17 to five, 654 to go before the break. One stop shopping existed. Stubbs Gas and Oil, gas, food, and all your travel accessories off I-76 and exit 66A in Wigan. Stubbs Gas and Oil, yeah. Hopefully Castillo will be okay. She's too good of a player, but clearly got hit right around the eye. So play a stop momentarily, but she will not be back in this game at least any time soon. They're treating that left eye just above the left eye. And... She's all right. They can resume play. I don't know what they're waiting for. She's, in fact, looks like she's going to the locker room. I mean, this is not a situation where a player is disabled. They're just a little bit banged up unless they're treating this like a regular one-minute timeout. Anyway, in the opening quarter, Tate and Dempsey scored six points. That's what it is. There's blood on the floor. All right, there is blood all over the floor that they have to clean up. So they didn't have anything... On the sideline, Taylor Tanchi and Ellie Soper with three points apiece. Yeah, she took a shot there. So they're wiping the blood off the floor. And, oh, there's blood all over the place. All beyond the three-point line on the right wing, near the head of the circle. But it should be cleaned up here any second. There are three people out there doing so to make sure I mean, there's so much, there was so much blood out there that maybe stitches are required. I'm not sure. So the score is 17 to 5 in favor of Sterling. Oh my gosh, how much blood. Let's take a break on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The SIR. Tanchi misses a three, and the rebound is grabbed by Cheyenne Garrett. There was blood all over the floor. I think Karima Castillo's out for the entire game. She didn't know she was bleeding that much. Then an errant pass by Becker is intercepted. Here's Tanchi right of the lane all the way. Throws up a wild shot, misses, back rimmed. The rebound is controlled by Michelle Headley, but she throws it into the hands of Taylor Tanchi, but she went over and back. Teams trade turnovers, brush basketball. 17 to five in favor of Sterling. 6.21 to go before the break. It was 15 to three after one. And middle miss to throw it in. Yeah, I don't see Castillo coming back into this game. As much blood as was lost. Here is Celeste Gonzalez, 15-footer. That is well short. Rebound is pulled away by Tayton Dempsey. That's her fifth. On the outlet to Soper. Sterling clearly the better team. 
with their shooting, the way they move the basketball around. B Diggers, a young team. On the high right is Tanchi. Swings it right corner for Graber. Bounce pass to Dempsey. Bangs and scores. Wide open. B Diggers did not account for Tate and Dempsey. She's got 10 of the 19 points. 19 to 5. Lobbed to Cheyenne Garrett. Cross court passed off Headley's hand to Gonzalez. She takes a 15 footer. Doesn't reach. And the shot is up. The follows up and in. That's Becker who puts it in. She's got two points and three rebounds. 19 to 7. Tanchi at the free throw line, bounce pass to Graber, penetrating left baseline, she traveled. The bee diggers are strangely still in this game. I mean, they have open shots, but they are missing badly. And here is Brisa to throw it in, back into the game, bounce course, about court bounce pass to Sarah Becker. Now the lob to Brisa Aguirre Garcia. Front court overhead pass is intercepted. Sloppy pass. Soper takes it away. It's a three on two. She's going to have to swing it back out. Nice job of middle miss catching up. In the left corner, Tanchi holding the ball up high. Now the three is up, and that is off to the right. Michelle Headley grabs the rebound. That is her fifth off the miss by Storch. Brisa dribbling right of the lane all the way. Puts it up and in off the glass. Nice move by Brisa. Aguirre Garcia, the bead diggers to within 10. 19 to 9, 447 to go before halftime. Soper outside left to Storch. In the left corner to Tanchi, back out on one hop to Storch. And a high right now, overhead pass is taken by Soper. Chest pass to Storch. In the left corner, Tanchi, 15 footer. It's the bottom of the backboard. Cheyenne Garrett has it for Brush. The outlet pass is stolen by Tanchi. She puts it up and she misses. And Headley grabs a rebound for the B-Diggers. That's her sixth on the outlet to Aguirre Garcia. 4.18 to go, second quarter. Brisa dribbling left baseline, dribbles by a defender. Looking, bounce pass to Garrett, little 10-footer. It's an air ball. Brisa's got it, puts it up and in, off the glass. Oh, she's a solid player. The B-Diggers are only down by eight with four minutes to go, second quarter. Sterling 19, brush 11. Tanchi on the outside right to Storch. Feeds it back out to Tanchi. Lob inside to Dempsey. Banks and scores. Again, going off the glass. Dempsey with 12 points and five rebounds is beating Brush almost on her own. And Cheyenne Garrett looks like she's hurt. Backer in the backcourt. Lobs it over to Brisa. Still in the backcourt. Overhead pass taken by Headley. Headley on the high right inside the three-point line. Looking, she traveled. The Bay Diggers have committed nine turnovers. Sterling with five. And now we have Soper to throw it in, but there is a timeout. 3.37 to go before the break. Sterling, 21, brush 11 on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. KSIR. Sterling leads brush 21-11. to 11. The boys game at 7 o'clock on KPMX on the outside left is Storch. Swinging it near the top to Tanchi on the outside right to Soper behind the three-point line. Takes a dribble, kicks it back out, intercepted by Middlemiss. Sterling with her sixth turnover. Middlemiss to Brisa Aguirre Garcia in the lane. And I think she lost the ball off her right leg out of bounds. She did. B-Diggers with turnover number 10. And to throw it in is Tanchi. 3.14 to go, second quarter. Lady Tigers led by... 14 points at one point. Now it's 10 point lead. Here's Soper. Just beyond the timeline on the outside right to Tanchi. Overhead pass right corner. Wide open three by Storch. Back rimmed it. Michelle Headley has grabbed another rebounder, seventh. And then she had the ball stolen in the backcourt. It's still loose and taken by Sterling. Here's Tanchi on that baseline with the basketball. Overhead pass to Storch. The B Diggers again with too many turnovers. Soper bounce pass to Peterson, dribbles, turns, shoots, misses, and the ball is loose. It's out of bounds. It is off of Brush. Tanchi to throw it in. Just over two and a half minutes to go before the break. Overhead looking, still looking. Overhead toss to Soper straight away. Swings it left side to McCracken. Left corner for Tanchi. Dribbles, drops the ball, picks it up. Back out on the high right to Storch. Now cross court, here's Tanchi, puts up a floater, that's good. Left baseline floater for Tanchi, she's got five. The lead is back up to a dozen, 23 to 11. 2.15 to go, second quarter. Brees in the backcourt, 
overhead soccer pass is going to be picked off. Nice play once again by Ellie Soper. Bounce pass inside. Knocked out of bounds. Maybe by Becker. Yep. Nope, she did. She saved it into middle miss, but she was on the baseline. Sterling basketball. A freshman, Harmony Herrera, is back in. Tayton Dempsey took a brief breather. She's too good. She's in there for Sterling. Big, strong player. Tanchi, left corner pass to McCracken. Dribbles to her right, and the ball is knocked out of bounds by Becker. Only one foul committed in this quarter. That's by Sterling. And even two minutes to go before halftime. Inbounds pass to Tanchi in the corner. Overhead pass back out to Soper. Left wing three. Yes. That's Selly Soper with her second triple. She's got six. The lead is 15, their biggest lead. Baseball pass to Headley. Front court. Dribbles right baseline. Headley all the way. Banks and misses. And the ball is out of bounds. It is off of Sterling. The B diggers retain possession. Aguirre Garcia to throw it in. That's five big points. They scored. The B diggers were to within 10. Brisa looking, lobs it, poked away near midcourt and out of bounds. Off Tanchi, B Diggers retain possession, but a sloppy pass there. Brush has nine, make it eight turnovers in the quarter and 12 in the game. Sterling with six total. Brisa to throw it in. Bounce pass near midcourt to Middlemist. Middlemist against Soper, swings it right side to Headley. Dribbles to her left, right of the lane, picks up the dribble, back out to middle mess, jump pass, cross court, off the hands of Herrera, chases it down. Herrera looking, and she threw it behind middle mess, who tries to save it, and she bats it out of bounds. Miscommunication there by the bead diggers. So the Tigers come the other way. Up 15. And Castillo's back in after all the blood that she lost. Nice to see her back in the game. Here is Taylor Tanchi. Bounce pass on the outside right to Storch. Now to Tanchi. Here is Ellie Soper. Soper on the high left. Swings it in the left corner. Long three is up and that's off the back of the rim. And the ball is rebounded nicely by Castillo. That's her second. On the outlet to Brisa Guerra Garcia. At the right wing. Baseline. Castillo puts up a shot. Banks and misses. Rebound to Headley. She goes up and misses but a foul. On Tanchi. Michelle Headley's been great on the boards tonight. 58.9 seconds remaining. And middle mist is out. That's another blood issue. Now who's going to check in? Need a fifth out there. Just get anybody in there, coach. Yeah, here's Cheyenne Garrett about to check back in. Hadley to shoot two. A lot of blood tonight. But Castillo's all bandaged up above the left eye. The Hadley free throw is up, and that's a beauty. Hadley's had an excellent game tonight. Only her second point, but she's got eight rebounds. Second free throw for the junior, Michelle Hadley. Benz shoots. And good. It got rim, it got glass at one end. B Diggers down 26 to 13. The other way here is Tanchi on the high right, lobs it down low for Dempsey, dribbles, turns, shoots, and scores. Tate and Dempsey again. Dempsey has extended the lead to 15, and she's got 14 points in the game. The other way, Castillo tries to save it in and does to Becker straight away. Here's Brisa Aguirre Garcia. Brisa looking, still looking. Baseball pass right side to Headley in the right corner. Castillo three is up, and that's going to be short. Rebound is controlled by Sarah Becker, her fourth. Nice job on the boards. Spinning in the lane is Brisa. Bounce pass to Cheyenne Garrett. She puts it up and in. And a foul on Tanchi. Cheyenne Garrett for two. Callie Graber checks in. The Bee Diggers draw to within 13. Cheyenne Garrett's got four points. With 17.3 seconds to go. Free throw is off to the right. 
Headley with another rebound, backs out to Castillo. B-Diggers reset. Well, they can take the final shot here. Know the, the game situation. Becker with six seconds to go. She'll take the right wing three. That's off the back of the rim. Chased down by Storch. Two seconds, one second. That's the end of the opening half. With the score, Sterling, 28. Brush, 15 on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. 28 to 15 Sterling. Callie Graber, Ellie Soper, Taylor Tanchi, along with Mackenzie Beck and Tatum Dempsey for Sterling. They'll throw it in. The Bee Diggers with Karima Castillo, Jocelyn Middlemas, Sarah Becker, Michelle Headley, and Brisa Aguirre Garcia. Graber to throw it in. Over to Taylor Tanchi to set up the offense for Sterling on the outside right to Graber. Swings it in the right corner to Soper. Back out to Graber on the outside left to Tanchi. Overhead pass here is Graber back out to the left. Now in the left corner, Soper three is off the back of the rim. Chased down though in the corner by Graber. Resetting the offense straight away with a basketball. Is Ellie Soper near the timeline now to Tanchi. They really spread it out. Overhead pass to Graber, bounce pass to Dempsey, dribbled the ball off the foot, her own foot. I thought it went off Brisa, but it went off her own foot. Turnover Sterling. That's her seventh unofficially. Pressure being applied in the backcourt. The bounce into Castillo. Now to Brisa. Front court pass taken by Becker with a right-handed dribble. Lobs to Brisa. Brisa with the basketball at the top. Brisa to her right is going to feed Castillo. He's not even looking at the basket. Had a wide open three. Middle miss will take the shot and miss it inside the three-point line. A foul on Brisa. Not a foul you want to commit because Sopra clearly had that rebound. Very few fouls in this game. A total of eight. Four by each side. Here is Taylor Tanchi for Sterling. Approaching midcourt. Swings it on the right side to Graber. Back out to Tanchi. On the high left. Now on the baseline with the basketball is Beck. Here's Soper. Head of the circle. Now to Dempsey. Into the paint. Turn. Shoots. High rim and scores. It took a high bounce off the rim. Dempsey now with 16. 30 to 15. There's the lob on the outside. Left poked away but taken by Karima Castillo. Back out to Sarah Becker. 6.38 to go in the third. Inside the three-point line, Castillo dribbles on Tanchi. Back behind the three-point line, straight away to Becker. Free throw line, middle miss, 15-footer is going to be a round and in. Good shot. Middle miss score. She's got four. Still a 13-point lead here for Sterling, 30-17. to 17. Tanchi on the high left to Graber. Left corner to McKenzie Beck. Now at the head of the three-point circle. On the right wing, Tanchi in the corner now for Beck. They're moving the ball around very quickly. Tanchi's pass is tipped away. Very errant pass. Picked off by Castillo. She'll lay it up and in. Nice job by Karime Castillo. Well, the lead is down to 11, 30 to 19. Tanchi right corner. Beck high three is no good. Ball is tipped around. It's taken by Soper. B Diggers did not block out. Soper towards the timeline out of Tanchi in the left corner. Graber down low for Dempsey. Had the ball tipped away. Intercepted by Middle Miss. Three turnovers by Sterling in the quarter. B Diggers can make it a single digit game. Brisa, left corner Becker, backs up three. Yes! Sarah Becker. Sterling might need a timeout. The B Diggers draw to within eight. They're on a 7 0 run. Tanchi nearly had the ball stripped and dribbles. Throws up a runner that's no good off the back of the rim. And Michelle Headley. As the rebound for Brush, there's the outlet to Castillo with one to beat all the way. Banks scores. Sterling needs a timeout. They're going to get it. Let's see. They're going to call a timeout. Full timeout. The bead diggers on a 9-0 run. Five minutes to go in the third. Sterling 30, Brush 24 on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Roaming clocks isn't just about.
award-winning sports coverage with 1010 KSIR. The Bee Diggers were on the verge of getting blown out, but they've scored in the last four possessions. A 15-point lead is down to six. They're in a 9 nothing run. Sterling 30, Brush 24, five minutes to go. In the third quarter, Soper to throw it in after the Sterling timeout. Soper to Tanchi, back to Sterling on the outside right in the corner for Storch, back out. Here is Taylor Tanchi on the high left. Now Soper, right of the free throw line, right corner for Storch. Back out, working the ball around is Taylor Tanchi. Tanchi on the high left, overhead pass, cross court Storch, wide open three. That's going to be well short. Brisa going for the rebound, but Tanchi tips it to herself on the high left. And resetting are the Sterling Tigers, four and a half to go in the third. Sterling 30, brush 24. That ball's tipped away near the free throw line by Brisa, but taken by Storch. Storch against Becker, feeds it right corner. Tanchi, three is up, and that's off the back of the rim. And Dempsey had the ball. She could not control it out of bounds. The bead diggers will come the other way with a chance to extend a 9-0 run. And you know Sterling's going to pressure. And that's what they're doing at midcourt. Middle miss with a basketball with a two on three in the lane all the way. Hits it off the bottom of the rim. Ball is off of Dempsey out of bounds. She could not control it again. So the bead diggers have the ball back. And Castillo to throw it in. How about this comeback by Brush? Castillo lobs it, tipped away, intercepted. Can't make that pass. Way too much traffic. First turnover by Brush in the quarter. Storch against Castillo. And then a steal by Castillo. Castillo, left-handed dribble all the way, puts it up and in! Karime Castillo off the steal. Has six points in the quarter. It's now an 11-0 run for the Bee Diggers. Wow, what a play. All of a sudden, it's 30 to 26. 3.40 to go, third quarter. In the left corner, Tanchi holds the ball up high. Overhead pass, free throw line. The Storch pulls up from 10, off to the left, but a foul. She went to the floor. And the foul was committed by Brisa. That's her third. And now Storch to shoot two free throws. The Bay Diggers have outscored. Sterling 11 to two in the quarter and make it 11 to three. That one went high off the back of the rim and in. Got the roll there. Grace Peterson checks in. Cheyenne Garrett in for Brush. Yeah, I've got that as three fouls, not two on Brisa. Second free throw for Storch is in the air, and that is off to the right. Nice rebound by Headley. And is she fouled from behind? Nope, lane violation. Free throw does not count. I'm not sure if it was on her or on Cheyenne Garrett. Wait till the ball hits the rim for crying out loud. So many lane violations. Well, that should be a lane violation, but it's going to be up and in. Free throw is good. Or until the ball is released. Okay, that's the rule. The ball is released. Either way, 32-26 Sterling. Three and a half to go. In the third, Castillo near the right corner. Maintains the dribble. Back out to Becker. At the free throw line for Middlemist. Watch out. Dribbles to her right. Double team. Swings it back out to Becker. Becker near the top of the basketball. Lobs it left to the baseline there to Cheyenne Garrett. Banks and around no good. Headley went for the rebound to the floor. That's off Cheyenne Garrett out of bounds. And that goes over to Sterling. All of a sudden, the action has really picked up in this game. Rush was down by 15, then trailed by four. It's at six. Right corner, no three there by McCracken. Guarded closely by Becker. Spins, kicks it back out to Tanchi. And Castillo basically <laughs> barreled her into the uh, first row of the seats accidentally. Castillo commits the foul. That's the, should be the third team foul. Sterling has not committed a foul in the quarter. Under three minutes to go. And Tanchi to throw it in. Castillo's got two fouls. Looking, he's going to lob it in the right corner to McCracken. McCracken against Becker, nearly poked from behind. Over to Tanchi, dribbled the ball. Looked like it went off her foot, but they're going to say it went off a brush. There was no room there to operate for Taylor Tanchi. She'll throw it in offensive end to the left of the basket. Got to get rid of it. Does it at the top for Tayton Dempsey to her right. 
Baseball pass to Soper. She backpedals towards midcourt to slow things down and to set up a structured offense. Swinging it left side to Tanchi. Overhead pass, left baseline. McCracken in the lane to Dempsey. Poked away by Castillo. Intercepted by Garrett. Then she dribbles the ball away. Aaron play. Here as Soper puts it up and she's fouled. Becker commits the foul off the miss there and two free throws for Ellie Soper. Ellie Soper is an excellent shooter. And she will shoot two. She's got two three-pointers on the night with two and a half to go in the third. And the free throw is in. That's seven points for Soper. Rebecca Boone checking in for Brush. It's now a mini three-nothing run. Garrett just looked like she's anguishing out there. Hopefully she's all right. Second free throw is in the air, and that's around and good for Ellie Soper. Sterling is four out of four from the line. 30-second timeout for Sterling. They are up to an eight-point lead, 34-26. And the Bee Diggers have done a nice job of controlling the basketball. Sterling's got five turnovers in the quarter. The Bee Diggers with only two. We're at the top of the hour, straight up at 7 o'clock. This is 10-10 KSIR. Brush, Fort Morgan, Weldona. Nine locations across Northeast Colorado and Nebraska means there's always a location close by at Rudy's Tires, bringing you 1010 preps and more every day. Visit rudystires.com for more. Who's going to throw it in? Jocelyn Middlemist. Four brush down by eight. Nice comeback by the B Diggers. Bounce pass to Castillo. Now to Rebecca Boone to Castillo into the front court. Castillo with a crossover dribble against McCracken. Maintains the dribble, looking to her right. has got to get rid of it. Doesn't want to be called for five seconds. Bounce pass over to Becker. Holding the ball up high. Becker can't force it. Free throw line off the hands of Middlemiss. She tracks it down on the left wing. Over to Becker on the right side. Near that right corner for Headley. And then a pass towards Becker, who was cutting to the basket. Intercepted. Rush has now gotten sloppy the last couple possessions. High right to McCracken inside the three-point line. Shot is up and short. Rebound, Soper banks and scores. Left unimpeded to the left of the basket. Soper with 10 points. It's now a 6-0 run for Sterling. Becker front court pass to Castillo. 36-26. Minute 43 to go in the third. Castillo crossover dribble. Near midcourt to Becker on the high left. Three-pointer middle missed. Air ball out of bounds. Sterling basketball. And Brisa's back in, as is Ashlyn Storch for Sterling. 95 seconds to go in the third. The biggest lead has been 15 by Sterling. It was at 30 to 15 before Brush went on the 11-0 run. Cross-court pass tipped away by Middlemiss, but Soper tracks it down near the Sterling bench. Left corner, here's McCracken. Won't take that three. Dribbles left of the lane, kicks it back out to Soper. Soper with a minute 16 to go. Excellent dribbler. Left baseline shot, McCracken. Yes. Rattles in. About 12 feet away for Kieran McCracken. An 8 nothing run for Sterling. 38-26, a minute 2 to go in the third. Left corner, Headley against Dempsey. Penetrates left baseline all the way. Has a shot blocked by Dempsey. Excellent block by Dempsey. On the bounce pass in the backcourt to Storch. Crosses midcourt. Lobs it down low for Peterson. The ball is tipped away. And it's intercepted by Becker. Then her pass tipped away loose. Castillo's got it though for Brush in the front court. Castillo now with 41 seconds to go. Looking. Baseball pass went off of Becker. Oh, there was a timeout prior to that. Yep, there was a timeout prior to that. 30 seconds called by Maddie Rule. Smart timeout. If not, it would have been a bucket for Sterling, but she called the timeout just in time. So it's an 8 nothing run for the Tigers at 38-26. Tate and Dempsey leads all scores with 16. The B-Diggers leading score is Castillo with 6. So here we go. It'll be brush basketball near midcourt. 
down by a dozen. But they have shown a lot of fight. The thing is, when you have to work that hard to come back, like Brush did, it's hard to really overtake that deficit completely. 15 down to four, but back up to 12. Three quarters court, Becker to throw it in. Becker. She had a wide open teammate that she finds Headley at the top. On the right baseline now, that's Celeste Gonzalez. And then her pass is tipped away near the free throw line, intercepted by Beck. Beck lobs it left side for Soper. She traveled. Sterling has seven turnovers in the quarter. B Diggers trying to stop this 8 0 run with Karime Castillo setting up the offense. Near the top, swings it on the outside right to Becker. 18 seconds to go, lobs towards Castillo, right baseline, turns, shoots, misses, fouled. Not a good foul that far away from the basket for Storch, but she made contact instead. Well, they're going to say it's McCracken instead. Castillo's been very impressive since the injury occurred. That cut above her left eye. See if she can see that basket well, and she does. That's a perfect free throw. It stops the 8-0 run, 38-27. Free throw number two is upcoming for Karime Castillo. Good. Storch in the backcourt, down to a 10-point lead along the right baseline. Storch dribbles out of it, dribbles by a defender. We're down to eight seconds to go. Overhead pass taken by Peterson. She banks it in. What a feed there by McCracken to Peterson, who scored off the glass. That'll be the end of the third quarter. That was masterful basketball by Sterling at the end. The Bay Diggers outscore the Tigers 13 to 12 in the third, but trail 40 to 28 on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Headley, middle missed Becker. Along with Aguirre Garcia and Castillo for Brush. They trail 40 to 28. Soper, Tanchi, Graber, Beck, and Tatum Dempsey for Sterling. Here's Castillo for the B Diggers, dribbling against Graber. Swings it left side, chest pass to Becker. Now left of the lane to Castillo, left corner for Brisa. Brisa to her right, looking, still looking. Got to get rid of it and does to Becker on the outside right to Middlemas, near the right corner. Here is Karime Castillo, bounce pass right of the lane. Brisa shoots and misses from 10. Ball is tipped into the hands of Mackenzie Beck and then tipped in the backcourt by Castillo out of bounds. I think it went off. Did it go off of Brush? And it did. Or did they? What happened here? Must have been a 30 second timeout. I guess Brush then got it. A loose ball and they called a timeout. Okay, the B Diggers will take it. Down 40 to 28, they're playing representative basketball. Against a solid Sterling team. And to throw it in will be Sarah Becker. Becker lobs it near midcourt to Brisa Aguirre Garcia. Brisa with a dribble. Looking, she'll hand it off to Becker. Becker towards the top. Lobs it left of the lane to Brisa. She's fouled by Mackenzie Beck. Sterling getting a little bit careless, reaching a little bit too much. But again, that's only their 16th foul. In the entire game, the B-Diggers have seven. So Brush has actually committed more. And to throw it in will be Castillo. There's the lob on the outside left to Becker. Becker right of the lane. Right corner Castillo. Shot is up and threw up an air ball. Brisa chases it down. She's trapped. Bounce pass inside to Headley and misses off the bottom of the backboard, but she's fouled. Headley to shoot a deuce. And the foul was committed by Ellie Soper, her first. 
Hadley can make it a 10 point game. Free throw is up and that's perfect. Hadley again. Bends, shoots, and again, a lane violation. Why is she doing that? Yeah, that was clearly, she knew it was short. And it'll be Sterling basketball. Got to be disciplined, 40 to 29. We have 7.05 to go in the game. Sterling is led by double digits throughout, even though the B-Diggers cut it to four. Soper back out to Tanchi, lobs it, free throw line for Mackenzie Beck on the right wing to Tanchi, dribbles right baseline, her hook shot is up, and she missed it short. Michelle Headley with a beautiful rebound. That's her 11th. She's been dominant on the boards tonight on the outlet to Aguirre Garcia. On the outside right through the hands of middle missed into the B-Digger bench. Unforced turnover by Brush. Turnover number 19, Peterson back in. Along with Ashlyn Storch, the B-Diggers still have the five that I mentioned at the outset of the quarter. Brush almost in about a 1-2-2 defense here. Way they're setting things up, and now it's kind of a loose zone. Here's Tanchi, right baseline, dropping the basketball. Graber, bounce pass, is back out to Storch. Storch straight away, guarded by Castillo on the high right to Graber. Right corner, Tanchi, wide open, triple off the top of the backboard. Rebound to Storch. Storch free throw line, Graber 15 footer around and no good. And the ball is loose, it's out of bounds off the bead diggers and Headley. Sterling retains possession up by 11, 40 to 29, 617 to go. On the high right, Storch fakes the three, dribbles right baseline, right corner to Tanchi. Back out to Dempsey, pulls up 16 footer off to the left. Rebound, put back is up and missed by Storch, partially blocked and pulled down by Karime. Castillo a brush. The bead diggers the other way to make it single digits. Aguirre Garcia into the paint. Bounce pass to Headley. Headley hooks. Throws up an air ball but a foul. Nice job of using her body. And the foul on Grace Peterson. Still plenty of time. 5.56 to go. Headley can make this a nine point game with two made free throws. And that one's up, and that one is way, way off to the left. It grazed the rim. A freshman back in for Brush, Celeste Gonzalez. Second free throw for Michelle Headley to make this a 10-point game. Spins, bends, shoots, scores. Sterling 40, Brush 30, B-Diggers back off. Tanchi across the timeline, left-handed dribble towards the top, picked up by middle miss, now by Castillo, picks up the dribble, overhead pass on the high right to Storch, back out to Tanchi, lobs it down low for Peterson, poked out of bounds by Aguirre Garcia, into the B-Digger bench. And near that left corner, somebody has to throw it in for Sterling, it will be Tanchi. Tanchi, left baseline pass to Graber, back to Tanchi on the left wing. Dribbles towards the head of the three-point circle. Cross-court pass on the high right to Storch. Right corner to Graber. Now to Storch. Fakes the three. Dribbles to her right. Feeds Graber. Bounce pass down low for Dempsey. Double team. Dribbles, turns, shoots, misses. And nice rebound. Tipping it to herself was Aguirre Garcia. B-Diggers can cut it to eight. Brisa dribbling with her left hand. Left to the lane. Cannot shoot there. Nearly had the ball taken away. Back out to Becker, overhead, cross-court pass. Gonzalez, little 10-footer, is off to the left. Rebound to Becker, puts it up. It's partially blocked. Becker tries to save it in, but does to Dempsey. Now Sterling looking to go up by 12 or more. Tanchi throws up a long runner. That is no good from about 12 feet away. Peterson with a rebound and a tie-up. That's a great job by Headley and Middlemist. Possession arrow Sterling. Down to 4.55 remaining in the game. Sterling 40, Brush 30. Castillo's back in after a short rest. And here is Tanchi tapping the basketball, looking inside, bounce pass to Dempsey, turns, dribbles, hooks, misses, fouled. Oh, you cannot let her have that lane. It was too easy. And Brisa knew it, her fourth foul. To the line, Tatum Dempsey. 16 points, 14 in the first half, in and out. Cheyenne Garrett checks back in. 
Bee Diggers need one more run to make things very interesting. Second free throws in the air, and that's perfect. 17 points for Tatum Dempsey. 41 to 30, backcourt pressure applied. There's the lob to middle miss, back to Becker. Still in the backcourt. Lob is off the right hand of middle miss, intercepted by Dempsey. Sterling the other way, down low for Tanchi. Left wing Peterson, 15 footer, is off to the right. Rebound to Ellie Soper back into the game. Kicks it back out to Storch. On the outside left to Tanchi, holding the ball up high against middle mist. On the right wing, now in the corner. Here's Soper, now to Storchi. Cross court pass to Tanchi, down low Peterson. Hooks and fouled by Cheyenne Garrett. Off the miss, Peterson for two. Yeah, the B-Diggers are clearly tired now. Not moving their feet, committing more fouls than they have the entire game. So is Sterling, but Sterling's up by 11. The large lead has been 15. And the first free throw by Grace Peterson is in the air, and that is nothing but string. Since it was 30 to 26, Sterling's gone on a 12 to 4 run. Free throw number two with four and a half to go is in. The lead is a Baker's dozen. Backcourt pass is taken by Middlemist. Crossing midcourt, dribbling high right. Middlemist has the ball poked away and then thrown off of Middlemist out of bounds by Tanchi. That's a tremendous defensive play. Sterling has played great defense in the fourth quarter. They've held Brush to two points in over three and a half minutes. And they lead 43 to 30, although Sterling scored only three points, so Brush's defense has been pretty good as well. Here's the lob by Tanchi, dribbles by a defender in the lane, and the ball is kicked out of bounds. Stays with Sterling off an attempted bounce pass. Celeste Gonzalez checks back in. And to throw it in, Ellie Soper. Lobbing it, high left for Tanchi. Tanchi, overhead pass to Soper, fakes the right wing, three dribbles right baseline, bounce pass back out to Tanchi, her 10 foot runners around in short, rebound to Cheyenne Garrett to brush, nice box out. Cheyenne Garrett with her third rebound of the game. Now to Becker with 3.47 to go, left of the lane, Becker looking and then foul from behind, 14 foul, that's on Tanchi. That'll be her second. I'm not sure why Sterling is reaching like that, committing all these fouls with a 13-point lead, not 11, 13 with 3.46 to go. They're going to put the beat diggers in a penalty if they keep going like this. Castillo lobs it near the top to Becker. Off her left hand, tracks it down. Right baseline to Headley against Peterson. Swings it back out to Becker. Overhead pass cross court. Now Castillo, 10-footer, hits the bottom of the backboard, and it's into the hands of Grace Peterson. Sterling in firm and full control with 3.28 to go in the game. Here's Soper, lost control. It was right in her hands. Intercepted by Gonzalez. First turnover by the Tigers in the quarter. That is their 14th of the game. Becker, left baseline, Headley, 10 footers up. Back rim, no. Tanchi with a beautiful rebound. What a block out by Taylor Tanchi, her fourth. Cross court pass in the front court to Peterson. Hands it off to Storch. We've got three minutes to go from Brush. Sterling 43, Brush 30. Baseball pass to Storch in the right corner to Tanchi, holding the ball up high. And I don't know who she was throwing it to, but it was Castillo who caught it for Brush. Castillo against Soper. And that's going to be an offensive foul as Soper went down to the floor. Great defense as Castillo tried to stop, but she barreled in to the defender. Castillo commits her third. The Bay Digger turnover is their 22nd. And Karen McCracken is in. Cheyenne Garrett is out for Brush. Two minutes and 50 seconds to go. And Garrett played really tough while she was in there. Four points, three rebounds. It's a nice effort by Cheyenne Garrett. Here's Ashlyn Storch looking. Kicks it back out to McCracken against Castillo. Lobbed at Dempsey, dribbling right. Long three, Storch is short. Michelle Headley, what another excellent rebound by her. That's her 12th. Headley to Becker on the left wing to Castillo. Picks up the dribble. Looking, still looking. Underhand toss to Brisa. 
2.17 to go in the game. B Diggers down by 13, but Issa lost the ball. It's on the floor. Bodies go flying, and now it's picked up by Sterling. They've got possession. Here's Torch on the outside left. Left of the free throw on bounce pass to Peterson. Puts it up way too strong, and a foul from behind. Ali Soper committed at two free throws coming up for Sarah Becker. Yeah, they're going the other way. They got to go the other way with Becker shooting two. Guys, let's... Yep, there we go. One, one official, maybe two are aware that it's the fifth foul committed by Sterling. It's not an offensive foul. It's a loose ball foul. So Sarah Becker to shoot two. We will not take a break after this. We'll go straight to the post-game show. Directly to the post-game show. Brought to you by Advanced Agra Solutions. Sarah Becker's got five points in the game and make it six. Good-looking free throw by Sarah Becker. Mackenzie Beck is back into the game for Grace Peterson. Free throw number two is in the air, and that's in. 43-32. There's the lob right through the hands of Soper out of bounds. Sterling, this game's not over yet. Got to be disciplined. That did not look good. We'll take a timeout with a minute 59 to go on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Morgan Community College. SIR. The Bay Diggers commit a turnover on the lob in the front court. It's taken away. Here's Ashlyn Storch with the basketball. Seven turnovers by Brush in the quarter. Trailing 43 to 32. There's a foul on. No, a five second violation. That's a nice defensive job there by Castillo. Sterling has committed their 17 turnover of the game and Castillo with outstanding defense. Well, again, if they can hit a couple of threes, they could certainly make Sterling a little bit nervous, but the outside shot is not Brush's strength. Castillo dribbles into the paint, throws up a runner off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound middle miss. She puts it up and misses. And then the ball is rebounded by Becker. B Digger showing some fight on the backboards. Here's the lob over to Castillo, right of the lane, turns, kicks it back out straight away to middle mist. Left wing Becker, and then the ball is knocked out of bounds on the entry pass towards Brisa by Mackenzie Beck. A minute 13 remaining. Callie Graber's back in for Karen McCracken. And Karime Castillo to throw it in for Brush. 73 seconds to go. Lob in the left corner. Brisa now to Becker. Oh, she could have taken that three, but she was picked up right wing Castillo shot is off the bottom of the rim. Tayton Dempsey's got the rebound. There's the baseball pass to Soper. Soper with Castillo to beat, and then they run into each other. Actually, it's a defensive foul. So Soper ran into Castillo, but she was obviously moving. That'll be the 14th foul. No shots. That should not be a shot. She was not going up for a shot. Yeah, they got inbound on the side. Yeah, that's not a shot. What is that? She was never shooting. Yeah, you're, you're on the side there. Yeah, that's a good call. I don't know why she was at the line. There was no shot attempt whatsoever. So Soper to throw it in. She might have intended to shoot, but that's not what happened. Soper lobs it in right wing. Over to Graber. Now here's Tanchi. 58 seconds to go. Sterling 43, brush 32. Near that right corner, Soper. Left-handed dribble. Kicks it back out to Tanchi. Right baseline to Graber. Now to Soper. Sterling is not going to shoot the bee diggers are now going to commit a foul at some point. Dribbling right baseline as Graber has a shot blocked, but a foul. Brisa might have just fouled out. 42.6 to go. And that is the fifth foul by Brisa Aguirre Garcia. Fouls out with four points. Cheyenne Garrett will now check in. Graber to shoot two. Well, I hope the bee diggers don't start this foul business. It looked like they wanted a foul, but you're not down by six or seven points. You're down by a dozen. All the fouling is going to do, especially if you don't score, is extend the game and then make you look worse in the scoreboard. Free throw, bottom rim, and the rebound to Tanchi. Tanchi nearly tied up, dribbles out of traffic. Tanchi cross-court pass taken by Graber, and now Becker fouls her. Two free throws here. Becker commits her second. 35.9 seconds remaining. 
Yeah, I think you want to play clean basketball now, just clean ball. No fouls down the stretch of your brush after this. The Graber free throw is short. Second free throw coming up for Callie Graber. The biggest lead for Sterling has been 15. And that one is up, and that one barely got to the rim. The ball is tipped around, rebound to Middle Mist. And was Middle Mist now? Oh, she traveled. I didn't see the travel by Middle Mist, but that's what they called. 32.8 to go. I say play straight up defense. Do not foul here. Just do not foul. Well, what are you going to do by fouling? Into Dempsey. Dempsey in the lane. Kicks it back out to Soper. Soper with a left-handed dribble. Now to Graber. Left baseline to Tanchi. Over to Graber. Cross court to Soper. No reason to foul. Nice defense there by Becker. Bounce pass in the right corner to back down low for Dempsey. Dempsey trap puts up a shot side of the backboard. Tries to go back up and take it away by Becker. That's a great play by Becker. Here's Castillo the other way. Castillo turns, banks, and scores. 44-34, three seconds to go. No reason to foul there, and that's going to be it. And the Sterling Tigers have won the game tonight. They scored just four points in the fourth quarter, but the Beat Diggers only had six. Final score, Sterling 44, Brush 34. Postgame show is brought to you by Advanced Agri Solutions. Get a full plan of seafood and water for your field. Now is the time to begin your planning for next year's growing season. Call Dusty or Roxy, 970-571-2024. While well, the bee diggers in this game trailed 15-3 after one, and quite frankly, that made all the difference. Even though they cut it to four, they were just playing catch-up the entire game. And they would go down by that 44 to 34 score. 28 to 15 at halftime, 40 to 28 after three, although the B Diggers made it 30 to 26, going on an 11 nothing run. Now, looking at the point totals for both teams, as Sterling in the game did grab 32 rebounds, by the way, to Brush's 31 unofficially, while Sterling committed 17 turnovers to B Diggers with 25. 17 points from Tatum Dempsey, 10 from Ellie Soper, 6 in the game from Grace Peterson. Then you had 5 from Taylor Tanchi, 3 from Callie Graber, and 2 apiece from Karen McCracken and Ashlyn Storch. The Bay Diggers got 10 points from Karima Castillo, 5 apiece from Sarah Becker, and Michelle Headley, 4 points for Jocelyn Middlemist, Brisa Guerra Garcia, and Cheyenne Garrett. The free throw situation... The Bay Diggers in the game were 9 of 13, fairly representative, as they were just under 70%. In the second half, Sterling made 8 of 12 free throws, 8 of 14 in the game. So they were at 57%. Brush drops to 1 and 4. Sterling moves to 3 and 3. Leading rebounder for Sterling, Tatum Dempsey with 9. She nearly had a double-double with those 17 points. Michelle Headley had 12 for the Beat Diggers. So that does it once again tonight as the Sterling Tigers defeat the Brush Beat Diggers. I'm John Beltran. Hope you have a great night. God bless with a final score. The boys game going on on 105.7 KPMX and KPMX.com. The Sterling girls defeat Brush 44-34 on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The Eastern